Hmm. Sounds pretty ambitious. <laughs> I'm an ambitious guy. Also sounds like you just pulled it out of your butt. Oh, no, sir. It's uh, it's a plan that uh, I've uh, been plan planning. Okay. Well, good. Let me know if I can help. Right out of your butt. Shut up. You guys ready? Let's do this. Well, God knows my feet are aching And I've got mountains ahead to climb One way at a time Stay still, relax, let's do everything. Can you do that? Dr. Bailey, can I, can I ask you something? What is it? Uh, how, how, how's your day going? How's my day going? Uh, my day should have ended three hours ago. I'm tired, it's late, and I still have six more things to do before it's over, and now I have you in my face asking me how my day is going. We'll give you some privacy. I'm a little messed up too. We're gonna be fine, okay? We're gonna be just fine. What if this more? What if this more? Hey, how was Mr. Becker's wife? Uh, her kids took her home. I can't believe they lied to us. They didn't lie. They just left out the history of his heart problems because they needed this trial. Now, while we're waiting for the FDA to respond, I want to rescreen all the applicants with a fine tooth comb. Is that what you're doing now? No, as morbid as it sounds, I am trying to find a replacement for Mr. Beckert. A new patient 122? Yeah, we'll need to have one ready. Okay, so what about Adele Weber? Meredith, you know I want to, but she's just not far enough along. Her disease has not progressed enough for her to be eligible for this trial. You know that. Well, this fell off of Richard's sweater this morning. Through these broken hands, I'm... Mine.